Hi, Quadcopter 101 here, here at India Wells Canyon. You know, I've seen a lot of uh, comments being made about the controller uh, for this quadcopter. People didn't like its design. Um, I'm telling you, it actually is a good controller. Um, on the back, you see these raised back edges here? They're great for gripping this quadcopter with one hand if you wanted to, if you're operating in, say, headless mode. Um, you, it's, you get a good grip on this quadcopter. But what I really like about this quadcopter is the proportionality of its controllers. I mean, especially for the yaw. Um, even at the highest setting, at 100%, it's extremely proportional. And I'm going I'm to demonstrate what I'm talking about here by actually flying it. Uh, I'll be buzzing around the canyon here with the um, little quadcopter CG-023, the Nano QX clone. <laughs> okay, hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, quadcopter's been bound. I'm going straight to 100%. All I'm going to be doing is flying at full 100%. Uh, again, I want to demonstrate the proportionality of the controller. I'll try to keep the controller in view for most of the flight as long as my arms don't get tired. But there's the quadcopter going up and away. Now, let's bring it in. I'm at 100%. But notice the yaw, rate, the yaw at 100% here. How easy it is to control. But if I really want to go full yaw, notice how you know quickly I can change it to full yaw. But it's very proportional to the amount that you actually push the stick. You can actually do uh, nice, slow, easy flying at 100%. Or you can go to full, full bat out of hell flying. If you jam the sticks. But it's... Very nice proportional controller. I like this controller. Um, I don't. I know people don't like the style. It's looks, but it really is very functional. I'm gonna fly down into the canyon there. I like the looks of this thing. It looks like a little spider. My wife and dog came with me today. <laughs> See, they're very supportive of my flying. Oh, I'm supposed to be keeping this in view. Again, let's go back to demonstrating its proportionality instead of jamming the sticks. And try to keep it close so you can see it. This has really good range, it does. Very good range, but uh, it's a small quadcopter, so you, if you do fly out distance, you better know your uh, orientation techniques and how to maintain orientation just by movement alone of the quadcopter. Uh, I really haven't demonstrated headless mode very much yet for this quadcopter. Okay, I'm pointing it toward Owen's Peak. Headless mode is, oh no, this is flipping. <laughs> Headless mode, which button was that again? It was the left button on this quadcopter, pointing towards head, head, or Owen's Peak. Headless mode is activated. Now I can do these little pirouettes of the quadcopter. And with that being forward, left, forward, back, right, all movements controlled by just pitch and roll only. The yaw is irrelevant. It doesn't matter if I'm full right or full left. Yaw has no effect on the flight of the quadcopter. Okay, that's enough headless mode. <laughs> Back to flying. Okay. It's getting breezy. It's getting breezy coming up the hill here. Let's send it up wind here. Very maneuverable quadcopter. You know, this is the most maneuverable quadcopter that I got. And this is, that's a lot to be said that considering this is only a $23 quadcopter. <laughs> For 23 bucks, you can get the most maneuverable quadcopter there is in the toy range.
Fun, funny little flyer. Send it downstream, send it up, it'll fly by. Uh oh, maybe my battery's getting low now. Better come in for a landing, because I don't want to go walking down there. <laughs> okay, that's the CG023. Ishin Senma by Ishin Senma. Hope you enjoyed that flight. Quite Copter 101, signing out.